Hey everyone, Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews and today I have this Greenwood uh, four gallon backpack sprayer that I got at Harbor Freight. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and then show you how it's done, how it can be used. So this side's already a little bit, uh, the tape is a little bit loose. So we'll go ahead and open it up over here. And this is a pump action one, it is not a battery operated one. I'll, I'll show you here the uh, the other ones that you could get that are, are um, you know, a lot more expensive. but. This is $29.99 and it was on sale for $19.99 with a coupon. So here it is, here's the top of it right here. Um, there's a little pump right here is your pump action. So you can pump it with your hand as you're walking, which is nice. Um, here's where your hose would go on and there's a number of different hose attachments for it. And then here's where you'd put your water and any other chemicals or fluids that you're putting in in here it has a little strainer mm. and there's hoses and stuff everything's inside here so that's a pretty good idea for actually storing it i never really thought of that so uh, we're gonna go fill this up i got some weed killer right here so we're gonna go and put some of that in here and uh, fill it up so um, whatever you're doing just make sure you have the make sure you have the you know follow the instructions for making it make sure you put the water and everything you need so we'll fill this up and show you what it does. Okay, so I have the sprayer set up now and uh, one thing I would say is make sure this handle on the pump is, uh, is on your side in front of you and not in the back because you know, you're gonna wanna pump this way. Um, you might be able to see it here, but I'll give you a better view um, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm spraying some weeds and Take a look at that. Okay, so I have some weeds right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just spray them down. And as my sprayer, again, I'm doing this with one hand with the uh, camera in the other hand, so I have to put this down for a second and then reach over here, pump the handle a few times to give it a little more pressure. And then once you have full pressure, As it gets close to the bottom, as you can imagine with any pump, it's not sucking as well. And if you can see in there, that's about what's left over when, uh, you know, when you're pretty much finished. So, you know, you're not going to get all the liquid out, that's for sure. Uh, you can probably get a little bit more than this, but I've been pumping quite a bit to get a lot of air and, you know, not that much liquid out. But again, that's not that much liquid left in there. So um, I think overall it... It was pretty good. You definitely do a lot of pumping, so I can see the benefit of an electric powered one, but you know, for the price of this, I would definitely say it was worthwhile getting. Um, if you uh, like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Tell me other things that you like. If this was the video that made you subscribe and you'd like to see more lawn and yard and do it yourself, let me know. If you prefer to see more electronics reviews, let me know as well. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, also ask any questions in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. So as you can see here in the instructions, it lays out everything, the tank, the hose, trigger lock, pump handle, pump, uh, your lid, obviously nozzles. There's four different nozzles that it comes with. One's a single nozzle, one's a double nozzle, a fan, and a sprinkler nozzle. So four different nozzles. Um, shows you how to put them all together to wand into this and then into the assembly. So, um, and then here's a trigger lock, trigger and such. So. We're gonna go ahead and set this up here. So the first thing we're gonna do is put one end of this hose into the output right here. Okay, so once I put that on, I'll just tighten this. Then on this side, I'll put this piece on here. And then we'll stick the wand in here. Tighten that down. And then we'll just put this one on. I decided to go with the, the fan nozzle. Now the one knock I would give on this thing is kind of where the uh, you know, book bag kind of uh, strap goes is a little bit close to here. And the other thing about that strap is it's, there was nothing in the instructions on how to put this on. And I'm sure I don't have it correct, but it's at least holding this way. And this actually didn't come in here. So you had to actually feed this in 
to this part and nowhere in the instructions did it really tell you how to do it. So um, it worked perfectly fine with it on as I have it. Uh, maybe it's a matter of clipping it on here too. But, uh, you know, it works fine. It's just, it would have been nice if they told us how to, how, told you how to do it.